Hello guys, in this video we're gonna show you how who, who are you? Man? Okay. In good energy, okay? Yes. Is this a recording? Hello guys, Bayani here. In this video, we're gonna show you how to refinish a old wood floor, hardwood. And uh, the reason we do it, it is has some dent, a lot of scratch, water damage, and it just needs to be done. So we're gonna show you, it, it is about uh, probably 600 square feet of floor. We can show you the area that we're gonna do. And this uh, probably is about 60 years old house, so it's um, old time, real hard. So I show you guys in here, like you can see, like uh, some damage. Here we did some patch, so you need to redo it because of that. Like uh, you guys can see. A real deep scratch. Yeah, I'm gonna show you here the area that we're gonna do. A few bedrooms. Like uh, this area here is a uh, was very very bad damage with the water. I just uh, belt the sand a little bit, that way once I come with the sander, it would be easier to do it. Maybe you don't see on the car, but it's a lot of dent, it looks to be or if you had a bed or something. And the water that I made on that corner. This room here, you can see, show you guys. Mark with mark and the flow so it's in bad shape. So this is why we're gonna work on it. And uh, as a preparation to do it, we have moved uh, the doors. That way easier to run the machine. Just gave a put a tape just to give us uh, some protection in there. Yes, yeah, so for preparation to go with the big machine, some area they were. Uh, Heavy damage, I just use the belt sander to remove the higher part and that way would be easier to do with the big machine. Okay, on the last video I show you how to reuse the old hardwood floor. Then uh, after that we just use the belt sander to make it even because when we install it the board they were not all the same height so it was uh, pretty much uneven I used the belt sander just to straight down a bit the, the reason that I use the belt sander is because the belt sander is uh, to do a small area is more aggressive and it would send faster and saves you sometimes this is why I use it and uh, after the belt and other preparation that we did, we remove all the doors, tape around the door jam to give a bit protection, and we we punch in the nails because we had some nails on the old floor that was uh, sticking out, and if you leave that, that would damage your sandpaper. Some board was a kind of loose. We use the nail gun to. Now we run tight. Next step would be we're gonna use this this sand over here. We have a few hand sanders in here that we're gonna use to do the corner where the big one does not reach. Once we do that, the next step would be to use the buffer to to the fin finish sanding. We did all the preparation work. Now we're gonna go straight in to do some sanding. I'm gonna try to use this sander here less because it doesn't have a, a bag for the dust. I will try to see if I can make this work. If this work to do the job, I can use just this, but it's, uh, let's hope it does. 
I gonna yes, I gonna set up the fan here on the door, and I gonna set up the blower over there. Face that way, because when we doing the sand on those bedrooms, the dust will come here. Just go straight out. And let's work. What I gonna do next? I gonna try to see if this buffer here will do the job. If it does the job, we luck. I just gonna this one. I just gonna try with the 60 grit sandpaper and see how it work. If this one doesn't do the job, I use a rough one. Not ready? Ready. Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. This sand is just a uh, rental from Home Depot. Here they charge uh, $67 a day. And it's about it. Did you have to buy the sandpaper? We, yeah, you gotta buy the sandpaper and the grid all separated. So I, I pick up extra because if I don't use it, I just return it. So it's better to have a you pick up more than what you need. That way you can just return it and get your money back. Wow! <laughs> okay, let's try to do this. <laughs> hey guys, here we are. So, we, we run the sand, the sandpaper on the floor. We run the 36 grid and uh, the 60 grid and we save some dust. This we're gonna do some preview, homemade preview. And then uh, we're just gonna fill up all the small holes, nails hole, gap, all that stuff. First I'm gonna show you guys how to make it and then I'm gonna show you guys how to fill the holes. Okay, so this is, uh, I have some carpenter glue. Gonna just pour some in here. I have some water in here. I'm gonna put some water because if I if I put just the glue, it's gonna be very hard. Okay, now I have a I have a great consistency in here and like you guys can see it in here is a very similar color to the floor it's not exactly the same but uh, it's very close now I'm just gonna find some holes gonna fill it in and another thing that you good to know use a stainless steel knife or something stainless steel otherwise you would uh, leave mark on your floor. This is just a stainless steel tape knife. Okay, let's fill some holes. Yeah, just so we fill in the gaps between the wood. Uh, we look for, else we look for nails holes, all type of uh, damage to the floor. Related to holes, and then we just fill it in. Just uh, don't leave too much, just fill in the gaps. Like that. Don't have to leave too much because if you leave a lot, and then you get a sand more, more sand to do. Like you guys can see here, like the 
the compound, the mix that we made is almost the same color as the wood. Here we just have uh, some dents that are uh, very deep didn't came off with the sanding. So we're just gonna we're gonna fill them in and then once it's dry tomorrow morning we just do another sanding right there, alright? This is what we're gonna do here. Yes guys, here we just uh, fill in some hole. We sweep this door, the side, and then we have the, the hole here for the ridge. This is what we're doing here. But if the hole is very big with this compound, it's good to put the two or three coats, whatever it takes. i show you guys one hole in here. Like you can see, see how big is this hole. Remove this in here. We just fill it in. You guys can see I not uh, overload it. I could overload and then try to send, but then it crack. I would have to still put more mud. So just gonna leave it like that. Once this is dry. I just put do some more. So guys, uh, with this compound, I do put some water on it because uh, if I put on the glue, it would be very hard to sand. Stick better, but it would be hard to sand. This is why I mix uh, some glue and some water with the sand. Yes guys, uh, see this board here is a little bit higher, I just gonna try to bring it down a bit, like there you guys can see, so I just gonna punch it a little bit, and then I put a few nails. nice and flat so it's a way less sanding. Well guys this is how it looks like. It is is it doesn't come off it's hard and uh, the color match with the wood. This one here you can see just show you this one because it is this hole is on the wood is uh, dark around it. This is why you can see here because some matter what you show is uh, it's pretty much the same color as the wood. So this stuff is good, easy to prepare, and it's a uh, low cost. Because if you're gonna buy uh, the wood fill on the home hardware, Home Depot or some other place there, cost about nine, ten dollar, Canadian dollar for a small container. So this one is, uh, you have as much as you want. Uh, as much as you need for the sawdust, just buy us some glue and you have plenty of it. And thank you very much and I love you guys. See you soon.